Hello, my Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and all my cross watchers. My name is Psychic Gigi, and I'm going to be doing a general mini love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising from September 17th through September 30th, 2019. Please like, share, and subscribe so you do get my updates on all the videos that I do post. Okay, I've already kind of shuffled for my Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last two weeks of September. Wow, this year is really going fast, I have to tell you. So, the first card I get is the Seven of Wands Reverse. So, with the Seven of Wands Reverse, I get, like, you know, you guys are, are, and I feel like this is my Leo, you guys are kind of protecting yourselves. Like, you have a battle at hands, and you're trying to hold on to just being right about the situation. So, you know, we might want to kind of look at that and just make sure that, you know, even though you might be climbing up the ladder or there's, um, I don't know, I, I feel like young, hungry energy around this, so even if you're dealing with somebody who's just really stubborn, um, this could be you, Leos, by the way, um, but it's in around the matters of the heart, but they're saying that you're really standing your ground, like you want to maintain your your career, your position in your career, like these are all the things that are so important to you right now, relationships really aren't your main focus, but at the same time, you might be challenged um, with your relationship and you might be asked to look at yourself as like if you're doing things morally correct or you're being too judgmental of somebody. The next card I have is the Ace of Cups upright. So with the Ace of Cups, of course, it's emotion, emotional joy, emotional fulfillment. It's right there. It's at the palm of your hand. So this could be a new relationship or a current romance that you've had. But now is like a really good time for you to start working on that relationship and I feel like there's some new exciting energy coming your way in regards in the around the matters of love but I'm also getting there's an opportunity for you to renew a an old relationship so you might be kind of looking at somebody from your past where you might have done something wrong to them and it, they're saying to have like an open mind and an open heart to each other in order for the two of you to kind of get back together so but I do feel like there's going to be some harmony, some contentment for a very brief period. I'm not going to say it's long because I get the Four of Pentacles. The next card I have is the Four of Pentacles. So one of you are clinging on to some old issues in around the relationship. And or it's the, it could be you or your partner just not willing to, to make any changes. Like um, still coming back with the same type of results is what I'm getting. Um, so just be mindful of that. If this is somebody coming back into your love life that your partner is um, really trying to control the relationship to the point where it's kind of making it a break it or, or make it or break it type of energy. Um, this person could also be very jealous and they're not, they're trying to protect their heart at the same time. So they might want to come back, but they're really um, trying to control and navigate how the relationship goes. So I, I get this type of, um, energy that's going on with my Leos right now is like if you've done wrong like if you're holding on to past wrongs or grudges like there is it's this is a deeply seated issue that is causing some issues in your current relationship so if you're the one who's done something wrong to somebody it's time for you to make a decision whether you want to just um, move forward or you're going to come around and ask for this forgiveness because I feel like some of you have some resentment towards um, relationships and this is going to stagnate you moving forward so you definitely want to clear out that that old energy from any type of past issues that might have gone not so well <laughs> um, now I'm not telling you guys to call it over but all one every one of your exes and say I'm sorry but you know who I'm talking about if this does resonate with you the next card I have is the six of wands upright which is again success victory kind of winning um, and achieving what you're looking for in a rounds of relationship. I get more stability. You're, you're a lot stronger. Um, and I feel like you're going to take the higher. Some of my Leos are going to actually take the higher road in achieving what they want out of this partner. So if you are coming back to somebody, if you're wanting to reopen that relationship with somebody, I feel like you can be successful if you put the effort into it. I feel like some of you might even have dreamt of this person your entire life. So I get like a lot of victories around the relationship. So the person that you're dealing with is very confident, very successful, and will put 
you on a pedestal if you allow them to, but I feel like you're so guarded. <laughs> The next card I have is the fool. It's like you don't trust them. There's a lack of trust in around the relationship. I mean, yes, it's fun. It's adventurous. I feel like you um, are just kind of holding back that kind of love that you really want in your life because you're so uncertain and, and a little bit conflicted. So it's risky. I'm not exactly sure my Leos are going to let go of that risk. Like they don't want to take the risk. So some of you might be feeling a little insecure in the relationship and just feel like it's just shaky. Shaky ground is what I got. The next card I have is the Ace of Wands. So some of you might be meeting somebody new. Um, but if you're currently in a relationship, it's like a new lease on life. Like you get, you move the relationship to another level because it just wasn't working at this particular level. You, there was too much fear. So I feel like some of you are going to be dealing with Moving into a, a nice, stronger um, direction, you might meet somebody new. You might say, you know what, let me just jump in and let them know that you like them and just see where that relationship goes. But I do get some, some romance coming up. There's some sexy nights for my Leos. Next card I have is the Two of Swords reversed. So with the Two of Swords reversed, it might be that you are experiencing some emotional turmoil about some of the decisions that you've made in the past. Again, this is about that regret. So if you are regretting something, it's definitely a good time to kind of cleanse that, emotionally detach yourself from this person. Um, if they're not coming forth or coming forward, don't hold on to anything or, or allow anxiety um, to overcome the relationship. You really have to uh, allow yourself to do some healing from the past in order to move forward or you're going to continue to repeat the same mistakes. But I do see that people are starting to find that I get the truth out of the situation. So that, that comes out really strong, especially with this two swords reverse. So whatever the situation is like, the truth was there. Aha, this is it. This is why it didn't work. This is why it's not working. Um, and you could, you can go one or two ways with this. You can say, okay, I'm going to make it work, but it has to be both partners have to be on board. But either way, I feel like you aren't quite ready to move forward yet, but just don't be afraid. Don't avoid the situation because avoiding the situation is only going to create more, um, resentment, more animosity, um, towards you and for your partner. Again, this can resonate with Leo's or you could be dealing with a Leo that is just on the fence, completely on the fence. So for our... <laughs> so for our oracle romance angel for my leo sun moon and rising it's you desire love you you are lovable you have to know that you're lovable and that you desire love but you can also give it too so this is like you know again love comes in give and take if you really want to be loved you have to have an open mind and open heart and you have to release what happens in the past for the love to be reciprocated you also have to let go of, you know, again, there's, there's a need for not making the same mistakes. So if you feel like the relationship's done and over with, go ahead and move on. But I do feel like some of you are not ready to move on yet. You're just going to hold on to it. But don't sit too long because you don't want something to happen. I just, I wanted to throw one more card out there for you guys. You don't want to lose this completion, wholeness, attainment, the wheel of fortune where everything just kind of comes full circle. So I feel like Leos are going to be clearing out the past and moving on to the new and letting it all go. Um, and also, I, I feel like my Leos are going to really um, experience some fun for the next two weeks. That's for sure. I do get some fun and excitement, some sexy nights. So be prepared, Leos. Okay, thank you for watching, everyone. Love and light to everyone.